Hello, today I am going to discuss how to create a banner using the applet. We know that how to create thread because thread is used here to create the banner class. There are two methods to define thread. First is inherit thread class and second way is implement runnable interface. Now I discussed this program one by one. First, I defined a string, name is message, initialize the string using the hello world. Then, I create the object of the class thread. I define an integer value state and define a flag value. Here, init method are used for initialize all of the variables inside the applet. Since there is no variables, so this function is blank. Now, I initialize the start member functions start member functions actually used to restart of this thread here t is the object and thread is the class name and this keyword is used for to define that this is the recent thread which is running and we initialize the flag value is false and t dot start function is used for restart of our thread class after start our thread, it cannot be run. It is start to running by calling the run method. Run method is used for to create a banner message. Here we use the for loop, which is an infinite for loop. Now I define the try and catch block with interrupt exceptions if there is an error. This error is defined if there is any problem. Now, from this message, we can extract one by one characters and we display on the screen. Each character between two characters, the thread is slept by 250 milliseconds. Each of these characters are concatenated to message box and is shown in this screen. If flag is true, then our program is terminated. That is, we, we stop our trail by calling the stop method. When we call the stop method, trade value flag value is true and our trade is initialized to null value. Here, paint function is used to paint our string name is msg which is initialized by hello world g dot set color function are used for to define the text color after that we save this program and run this code as first compile this program to run this program we have to create an applet class in applet class, we call the banner.class for class files, which is our bytecode. Then we resize our width and height of the main applet form. After we creating the HTML files, we save it as banner.html. Then using applet viewer, we can run our banner programs. You see that output, and this is the, our banner program. This is a simple code by using we create a banner program. For this program, we use two packages one is java.awt and java.applet. Using thread functions, we create multiple animated programs and this is a simple program using we create this thread thank you